Let's talk about the derivative of an exponential function. In particular, I want to talk about the derivative of a natural exponential function. A natural exponential function is one of the form f of x equals e to the g of x, where e is the base called the natural base that's equal to about 2.71828. It's like pi, it's irrational. And when we deal with base e, we call that a natural exponential. Some examples, you could make up your own, but f of x equals e to the x, f of x equals e to the 5x, f of x equals e to the 2x plus 1, f of x equals e to the square root of x, f of x equals e to some power involving the variable x. In order to take derivatives of exponential functions, or at least I should say the natural exponential functions, we will need this formula. The formula for finding the derivative of e to a power where the power is a function of x is very simple. If you start off with a function that looks like e to a power of x, the derivative will be e to that power of x just written down. You just take the e to the power of x and you just copy it down over here. And then you multiply by the derivative of the exponent. So you take the exponent g and take the derivative of it. And that goes here. And it's a product. So the formula is very simple. The derivative of e to a power of x is e to that power of x multiplied by the derivative of the power. For example, suppose I ask you to find the derivative of this function f of x, which is e to the 5x minus 1. All you need to do is apply the derivative formula. According to the derivative formula, you take the exact exponential, which in this case is e to the 5x minus 1, and then you multiply it by the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of 5x minus 1 is simply 5. Most people would write that 5 first. So you would have f prime of x is 5 e to the 5x minus 1. Simple, huh? Let's try another. Suppose f of x equals e to the x. Again, applying the derivative formula for exponentials, the derivative would be the exponential itself, which would be e to the x, multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. But the derivative of x is just 1, so you're really just multiplying by 1. So that means f prime of x would simply be e to the x. I might mention here while, I'm, while I've got it up is that this function is its own derivative. So this is an example of a function. You start off with e to the x and you take the derivative and you still get e to the x. So e to the x is an example, is an example of a function that, it, that is its own derivative. Let's try one more example. Suppose f of x is equal to e to the x squared minus 1. Same idea. f prime of x is equal to the exponential itself, 
So that's e to the x squared minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of the exponent, which in this case is x squared minus 1. The derivative is 2x. So f prime then would be 2x e to the x squared minus 1. So there are three simple examples illustrating the use of this particular derivative formula.